Hello. Dear friends, colleagues, distinct guests, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening in China and uh, maybe good afternoon in India. <laughs> maybe good morning in Western world. Welcome to IMBA webinar sessions. I'm Lu Wenmin, uh, Deputy Director General of IMBA. You are now watching theme three, Bamboo Industry Development, session two, three case studies of national bamboo industry development for China, India, and Vietnam. Although bamboo distributed widely in all continents, but the people's awareness and concepts towards its values and utilization are quite different. Bamboo research has, has started even since 1950s, with some countries such as uh, with abundant natural distribution of bamboo forests, long history of uh, utilization and related culture, such as in China, India, and Vietnam, yet are restricted with biodiversity, ecological, and cultivation technologies. In the 1980s, when large-scale management of bamboo resources is technically valid, countries such as Brazil, China, India, and Vietnam partnered into bamboo pulp making industries, followed by researchers and developments in other industrial utilization technologies such as private processing and also relative machines. At the same time, Cambodia, Colombia, and other Latin American countries developed their bamboo con construction industries. Japan, China's Taiwan, and China's mainland started mechanical processing of bamboo curtain mats and floor. Ever since the 1980s, when China introduced mechanical processing, all kinds of machines were developed and made in China for various bamboo industrial products. The efforts of these countries in bamboo development brought bamboo into the view of industrial society. Bamboo was recognized by development agencies and international organizations such as RDRC, International Development Research Center of Canada, and IVAD, International Fund for Agricultural Development. Some pioneering countries identified their national strategies for bamboo development based on their respective conditions and resources. Bamboo started to support the number of development methods, such as poverty alleviation, boosting national economy, and at the same time, conserve the biodiversity but conserve the ecology and most importantly to provide the optional sources of timber materials out of wood. Yet the world's bamboo development status is not balanced. In some countries and regions, bamboo's value are yet to be recognized and explored. Today we are going to hear three case studies of China, India, and Vietnam learn from the major experiences of bamboo industry development. Our first speaker today is Professor Fei Benhua, the Executive De 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 Director General of International Center for Bamboo Latin of China's National Forestry and Grassland Administration, or NAFCA. Professor Fei Benhua has long been engaged in wood science technologies and had chaired 10 national projects. As a research professor and PhD supervisor, and also the chief expert of RCBR, Professor Fei's studies of key manufacturing technologies of bamboo engineered materials, systematic analysis of technologies of bamboo engineers, uh, systematic analysis of mechanical characterization of bamboo and wood cell, and related research of bamboo and wood property and forest cultivation laid solid foundation for future stages of development in China. Today, Professor Fei is on traveling actually, so although he could not attend the attend join us for this in person, but he had a, his presentation recorded, and uh, sent uh, Professor Zhang Wu, a deputy director of the Department of International of RCBR, to join the session on his behalf. Now, please view Professor Fei's presentations. Good 
Good morning, my friends. I'm Fei Benhua from the International Bamboo and Rotten Center. Today, I would like to share with you the development status of Chinese bamboo industry and achievement uh, its uh, development. It is made for from four aspects. The first is uh, Introduce the ICBR. The second uh, is to status of bamboo resource in China. The third is to introduce the key area of the current development of bamboo industry in China. And the fourth is uh, introduce the relevant policy and uh, measures. First uh, aspect about ICBR. ICBR is established in 2000 after joint approval from the State Commission Office for Public Sector Reform. The Ministry of Financing and the Minister of Science and Technology. The International Center for Bamboo and Rotten is a non profit research institution affiliated to the National Forest and uh, Grassland Administration as the International Research Institute for Bamboo and Rotten Technologies. Its mission is, is to directly support the international network of bamboo and rotten uh, in Bamboo for better fulfilling the host country agreement of Yimba, as well as to promote global sustainable development of bamboo and rotten. Main duties and methods. Uh, ICBR to carry out the basic and applied research of bamboo and rotten uh, cultivation, management and utilization. Uh, two, to promote international cooperation and exchanging among the INFA member countries. The third is to promote the display native talents development and the fourth senior professional in the bamboo and rotten to bolster the industry development by providing industrialization and to duty and, and to undertake uh, relevant technology, training, and home, and uh, above. To, to promote, to promote logistic and other support service for INBA. Uh, my research team uh, is with an uh, establishment of uh, 120 posts. ICBR now has uh, 106 employees, include six, six, 16 research professors, uh, 14 associate professors, 9 senior engineers, with its staff 50, 51 hold doctor, doctoral uh, degrees and 23 hold master degrees. There are 76 researchers and uh, 45 years old. And there are 141 doc doctoral and postgraduate age students. The two aspects is the correct state of bamboo results. China has more bamboo resource and uh, varieties than any other countries in the world, according to the latest date recent releases by the National Forest and the Grassland Administration in 2018. China's existing bamboo forest area is 60 is 6.41 million hectares, of which 4.67 million hectares are occupied by bamboo growers 
growers. According to the wood list of bamboo and rattling, releases in 2017, there are 1,642 1, species of bamboo in the world. There are 1,833 species in China. This is the World Bamboo Ranking and the Chinese Paul Ranking Good Book. This one, uh, Good Book. You can hear to reverse. Uh, the, the bamboo and the rotten in the book, uh, and the handbook of the rotten in China. Bamboo dis distributing, distributing buildings, uh, five areas in China. Uh, in China, this uh, five uh, five areas in China. Uh, more more produce bamboo areas. Monopodios and uh, uh, Sympodios bamboo areas, uh, all pine bamboo uh, areas. Uh, Sympodia, uh, climbing and bamboo areas, and uh, uh, climbing the bamboo areas, uh, five areas in China, all over the uh, China, uh, in the south of the China. From the, uh, from the press, uh, perspective of the development of bamboo uh, industry uh, in the 1980s in the Chinese mainland bamboo began to introduce the bamboo processing equipment from Taiwan to produce the flooring. Tooth peak, pickers and other products and the Chinese bamboo industry, industry, uh, bamboo industry has increased uh, gradually, and the development spend is rapid, fast recent uh, years. Uh, recent years. In the in this uh, century, uh, the number of bamboo processing enterprise in China has increased gradually from more than. 2,000 to about 10,000, uh, this picture. Third uh, aspect is the uh, key development area in China. The following are the main areas of bamboo industry and, and present China's bamboo industry have, has formed a uh, recycling industrial chair consistence consistence of bamboo forest cultivation, uh, landing, wall housing, housing, processing, marketing, 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 recycled and other recycled industries. It has formed nearly uh, 10,000 kinds of the products in 10 fields of include architecture, furniture, document decoration, flooring, uh, dining necessities, and bamboo charcoal, and gradually established an industrial machine for the integrated development of primary, secondary, and tertiary industry. One is the understanding bamboo forest to cultivate uh, circumstance above all. Uh, one is the realized target uh, nutrient management of bamboo forest. Chinese research institutes have clarified the north uh, biomass acute Cumulate, cumulation and uh, nutrient demands throughout the growth period of bamboo forest, which can effectively manage and uh, precisely regulate bamboo forest nutrient, nutrient, nutrient 
two, innovation ecology, ecology of radiation technology of bamboo resource. Collection utilization of also bamboo resource to the law of human activities and the functional protection of ecology with the study of soil fertility uh, delegation of the bamboo forest. We take the advantage of a occurred city to achieve the ecological operation stage of bamboo forest by special planning uh, suitable uh, matching land to bamboo. Structure of uh, optimization uh, improvement uh, without changing location. location. First application of bamboo uh, cultivation technology to uh, to cast uh, to cast uh, cast uh, cast all sand of the uh, south east of China particle land uh, the ecological for uh, forestation in cast sand was an innovation and application research. So develop effective the technology of bamboo resource uh, protection. A combination set of bamboo forest soil served with mothers, pests, and uh, diseases, monitoring technology, pests and uh, diseases uh, control technology, uh, technology in China. Four, a uh, phase uh, monitoring system for bamboo resource. Uh, it establishes the spectroscopy basis for remote sensing monitoring of bamboo forest by specifying the spe spectral uh, characteristics of bamboo of a female uh, monitor type, monitoring type. And the opinion of the bands uh, determined for the first time the classification uh, parameters for the identifying bamboo forest use remote sensing. Development of the information extraction algorithms uh, ratio the classification accuracy of uh, 94 percent of forest area comprised of the plan for bamboo cultivation and the utilization in Yunnan province. Some of the things they brought by the forest change in bamboo resource. The next uh, area is cutting and wool housing. Bamboo forest uh, are characterized by the one-time plant and the sustainable use of the ecological volley and the temple functions. Timely cutting, cutting, timely storage, and uh, rational, rational use of the uh, metal bamboo timber are a great significant. Bamboo storage is the closest related to bamboo forest management, sustainable utilization market regulation of forest products. Carbon emission uh, reduction, it is of the great ecology, ecolo, ecologic uh, value to the integrated development of the first, second, and third industry of the bamboo industry to standardize the operation system of the bamboo industry and to promote the development of the bamboo industry. This is the bamboo cutting equipment development in China. Use the diesel uh, batteries as the power and the batteries can work continuously for six hours one person uh, equipment to work a day 
equivalent equivalent to uh, 15 people with a knife to cutting the work land. This is the this is the picture is the sand crow uh, uh, is uh, uh, from a different uh, bamboo species uh, every year sand uh, crows. Bamboo process enterprise uh, will be uh, encouraged to build in the oriented fast groups growing like in the uh, green industry bamboo plant, plant uh, plantation to retail. Uh, realized the standardized stories and the support uh, supply of raw materials. This picture taken are uh, taken in the modern uh, supermarket. The standard uh, raw bamboo has been processed to meet the need of different fields such as construction, furniture and decoration. It can be story and uh, sold in the market. Bamboo material is uh, uh, portrayed, uh, it's portrayed, uh, processed to standard plant, uh, all squared materials, uh, package, like steel, through stories, non-justice, sales um, channels for circul circulation use. Only in this way can be bamboo industry embark on the road of modern. Bamboo grows fast, light and strong, and is a good raw materials for engineering materials. The processing of bamboo raw materials can be divided into basic processing units and the plant products unit with the enclosed bamboo streams, bamboo silk, bamboo fiber, uh, panel unit enclosed integrated timber, uh, they constitute bamboo, plywood, uh, particle bowl, uh, fiber bowl, and the This picture shows the process of flattening uh, bamboo. Uh, flattening bamboo is a uh, new material in China. Next area is uh, architecture and uh, decoration. In China, bamboo is widely used in building roof and bridges, such as the wood bamboo and the rotten organized paneling in uh, Yanqing. Uh, Beijing in 2019, uh, built interiorly with a uh, round bamboo. Uh, this building is uh, all the way is round bamboo. The building is uh, 9 meters high and spans 35 meters, overcoming a number of key technologies. And uh, it's uh, export, export the building of uh, Taiping Experimental Center and we Province. Bamboo is also widely used as a decoration, such as construction decoration of uh, Mantrid Airport, uh, Mantrid, the country Mantrid Airport. Wuxi Ground Center in Shandong Province. The next uh, uh, area is uh, communication and uh, water conservation. Bamboo is uh, widely used in road traffic construction in China, such as the construction of uh, Chongqing uh, Yuanzhou Bridge. Uh, Chongqing Yuanzhou Bridge, uh, uh, Golden Bamboo Bridge, Park or not. Bamboo wide pipe and uh, uh, Minus period and the ground uh, pipe uh, gallery uh, used in water conservation are uh, new products developed through the scientific and the technology innovation recent years, which have a great uh, social influence. Uh, this is the pipe glories. Uh, this is the 
fibonacci. The next area is bamboo paper and the paper products. Bamboo has a long uh, history in China for this use of the paper market, uh, paper making. Uh, in recent years, uh, through the technology research and the development of the of uh, not out legally, the development of bamboo equal paper, uh, consumers like it very much. Paper covers and paper uh, plants made of bamboo fiber also uh, have a good market prospect. Uh, this uh, the paper plants. Uh, paper plants. Uh, this picture is China and Ethiopia signed a cooperation agreement on uh, annual uh, out uh, annual output of one million tons of bamboo pipe and paper uh, making projects. Projects. Uh, this uh, next uh, uh, area is bamboo charcoal and active carbon. Bamboo at low temperature can be uh, fine ordinary carbon uh, useful for uh, particle. Activity carbon can be fine at high temperature. Activity carbon has developed tall structure, large specific surface area, and rich surface chemical groups and other characteristics. And it is widely used in uh, and the absorption, uh, catalysis, energy storage, and other fuels. In China, 30,000 tons of bamboo charcoal can be found, can be found and made produced in Suichang city in Zhejiang province, south of China, and uh, Yiyuan, uh, Yiyang uh, counties in Hulan province. Bamboo charcoal can also be processed in the uh, plants. Uh, this is in the plants for rich and engineering the construction. Uh, this is uh, engineering construction. Uh, the next as uh, uh, package is China's supporting the policy for innovation in the bamboo industry. Uh, to guide one is to guide the developments of bamboo industry according the planning, uh, the planning, uh, to according the planning. Uh, in 2012, the State Forest and Administration organized and uh, formulated the development plan of China's bamboo industry 2013 uh, to 2020, which has achieved good research through the implement, implementation of the eight year play. This year, China's bamboo industry development plan 2020 to 2030 is being uh, formulated and China's bamboo industry development guidance has been compiled. Major bamboo products province has also formulated provisional development plans in success and Zhejiang, Sichuan, Fujian, and other provinces have achieved the remarkable results. Next area is the government forced the uh, banking enterprise. China bamboo enterprise are generally characterized by small scale, relatively dispersed, uh, relatively bank uh, wall equipment and uh, facilities, and uh, relatively uh, concentrated enterprise of similar products. In terms of the industry of chair, laying out, there is no beginning cooperative relationship between upstream and uh, downstream. In recent years, the National Forest and Grass Land Administration and the local governments had been formulated uh, policies to integrate the small enterprise. 
cultivate naming and the price establish the machining of industrial parks cultivating the spring of cooperation among the different enterprises and uh, provide saint police and the financing support to lend to lending uh, enterprise uh, the next uh, area is a modified industry structure local government should and just measures of the current conditions and combine their advantage to changes to plan the industrial structure readily to promote the healthy coordinated the sustainable and green development of uh, primary, uh, secondary, and uh, tertiary uh, industries. Bamboo industry or uh, association should cooperate with the local government to formulate short term and long term development plans to benefit on natural corporations, uh, natural conditions, uh, economic conditions, and the development of the bamboo industry. It will be formed and one thing is industrial built with regional characteristics and relatively completely industrial chain and value chain. This area is uh, intensify the transformation of scientific and technology achievements. We will support the construction of a scientific and technology, uh, technological innovation planned for, for the bamboo industry, building a strategic alliance for technological innovation in the bamboo industry and uh, increase the uh, conversation rate of scientific and technology achievements. We will promote the transformation of scientific and te technology innovation achievements into enterprises and uh, promote the formulation and application of international, national and industrial standards. The Chinese government and the industry management department uh, touch great importance to the scientific and technology innovation and the standard setting of the bamboo industry. With great support, this was the annual meeting uh, ISO TZ 296 Ars Abima, uh, August, September 2008. 2008 in Addis Ababa. This picture meeting uh, chaired by the Chinese bamboo research team, Euro uh, Bamboo Division, uh, the important is Bamboo Division, June 2017, Vancouver, Canada. Next area is uh, Spons International Exchange and Training. Every year, the Chinese government has an international training program and a technological exchange meeting in the bamboo industry and can take advantage of these opportunities to strong cooperation. Use the INBA organization and the TC296 plan 4 to carry out the exchange in the field of bamboo and rotten to increase understanding, gain technological information, and experience rotten to increase the understanding. This is a, this is a training uh, course for TALA, organized by the Ministry of Commercial of China. Uh, the first world cooperation, bamboo and rotten, co-hosted by the National Forest and the Grass Administration uh, and, and the International Bank and Rotten Organization in Beijing. Uh, preparation, preparations 
uh, are under way for the second one. I hope you will take a uh, achieved part in each. So that's what I'm going to talk about. And uh, I hope I can help you with that. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Fei Benhua. Thank you very much. Yeah, Professor Fei Benhua had given us a very comprehensive introduction on present China's bamboo development. I would like to point out that some of the key points that the, our audience should pay special attention are as follows. Firstly, we should be the identification of a development strategy and a through plan. All countries and regions have their own specific natural, social, and economic conditions. And the bamboo development plan should be made based on these conditions and according to the countries and regions development goals. And at the same time, observing the world market trends. Secondly, we should be the specific research and innovation of new technologies, <coughs> which is the base for bamboo utilization and applications as well as the value chain adding product development. The third should be the given priorities to the conservation and development of local bamboo resources. You know, China is the largest large scale industrial bamboo forest provide a very solid basis for sustainable bamboo industry. Well, the first one should be the training and, and cultivation of professional personnel in bamboo development. This could be very key, the key to expand new technologies widely, quickly, and also add the values to bamboo forests. Technologies and high value adding are the driven powers of the bamboo sector development. So on behalf of the audience, I would like to thank Professor Fei Benhua for his valuable uh, presentations. Our next speaker is Dr. A.K. Bhattacharya, uh, the chairman of the Indian Integrated Development Organization, who is also the managing director of the Bamboo Entrepreneurship Development Foundation. Dr. Bhattacharya is a director and a post director of the ecology, environmental pollution, and a while and a long time and a lifelong uh, bamboo foresters and national level environmentalist, environmentalist and bamboo advocates. As a former mission director of the Mata Pradesh State Bamboo Missions, he pioneered in establishing India's first ecotourism development board and institutionalized bamboo based entrepreneurship. So thank you, Dr. So Dr. Prayana, you have the you have the floor, please. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much for nice uh, introduction. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, we can. Everybody, can you uh, can everybody see my presentation? Yes, I think so. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, yeah. So, uh, Namaskar and wish you all uh, post COVID excellent uh, recovery and a good period and <clears throat> a good evening and welcome. Thanks to Inbar team, especially Dr. Jin, Dr. Fu and Dr. Subramani for providing this unique opportunity to share my little knowledge with bamboo experts of the world. Although the subject is close to my heart, I understand I'm sailing a small boat in the vast ocean of bamboo sector. I'm going to give you a snapshot of the efforts and outputs of the government and private initiatives for the bamboo business development in the, in the country. Uh, in the present scenario of global COVID crisis, I look at bamboo as a potential solution for post-COVID crisis mitigation at community level. WHO and WHO and other experts indicate that now we have to find solutions to live with the virus. Bamboo can pro provide, provide uh, the three E solutions to combat this crisis, employment, the livelihoods, entrepreneurship, jobs and occupations, enterprise, business, 
for indian prime minister's vision of local vocal uh, global and self reliant india mission bamboo is the most appropriate commodity the entire chain of custody the natural resource bamboo the human resource the artisans and entrepreneurs technology the machinery and the tools and the market all are in place such and just a trigger is needed Ah, uh, the versatile bamboo provides all of you know all basic needs for human existence: food, cloth, and shelter. Ah, uh, probably bamboo is the only species with hundred percent utility. Every part is used. Both ah uh, bamboo is both grass and tree, both agriculture and forestry. A hundred percent species. The only probably the only hundred percent species. Globally, 80% of bamboo resource exists in Asia, mainly China and India. India contributes around 30% of global bamboo area, 19% production share, but hardly 6% global market share. So far, low production and low trade, but tremendous potential. Uh, the Tribal Federation of India has. chosen the 10 product lines handicrafts blinds bamboo shoots chopsticks furniture panels and boards flooring carpentry charcoal and activated carbon as compared to china although india has more than double the bamboo area the but the production is very low so output is very low About 30% of bamboo area in India is confined to northeast region. You can see through these histograms. Besides northeast region with eight states, the central Madhya Pradesh, the central Madhya Pradesh state, which I hail from, has the largest bamboo bearing area, 30%. Presently, India's import is higher than the export. As per Forest Survey of India report 2019, India's bamboo forest spread is around 16 million hectare, which is 22% of India's forest cover. India has around 136 species under 25 genera, 125 indigenous and 11 exotic exotics. Bamboo area outside forest is 3.29 million hectare, which is very important. The huge supply demand gap of 50% provides an extensive opportunity for bamboo-based development. Presently, northeast with a 28% of bamboo area contributes around 66% of the growing stock. Bamboo trade in India is still largely an unorganized sector. Bamboo and rattan industry of India is worth 4 million US dollar during 2201516 and 1617. The export bamboo export of bamboo and bamboo products was 0.02 million USD and 0.04 million USD respectively, while the import was higher 20 million USD and 29 million USD. Indian bamboo industry which is small at present has tremendous potential of income and employment generation in both rural and urban areas Indian bamboo industry has a size of 272 million USD per year at present while domestic market is potential is US dollar 6.6 billion will uh, which i will explain a little later A bamboo has enormous contribution towards social environmental and economic development of the nation Social about 86 million people depend on bamboo for their livelihoods. Environmental potential carbon sequestration value is 1 to 10 million metric ton per year, as per FSI report. Economic about 6.6 billion US dollar worth of market exists for bamboo and its products. This is a little about the market potential of bamboo based products. Uh, the uh, as per the study of Planning Commission. Current estimate of the market for bamboo products approximately US dollar 6.6 billion. Uh, bamboo furniture 483 million USD. Bamboo shoots 40 uh, million USD. 
bamboo flooring 260 million usd bamboo pulp 278 million us dollar bamboo housing 155 million us dollar bamboo square folding 115 million us dollar bamboo mat boards 521 million us dollar and the miscellaneous industry when where india is mostly stuck right now is 80 million us dollar bamboo is now being considered as a major driver for all basic development industries leading to economic growth of rural and uh, urban communities the supply demand gap provides an opportunity for institutionalized expansion of bamboo business in india there is huge supply demand gap bamboo development has been considered as significant tool to fulfill india's commitment towards sustainable development goals by creating an additional carbon sink of 2.5 billion metric ton by 2030 um the bamboo addresses almost all sustainable development goals like uh, 1 2 7 9 uh, 11 13 since 90s efforts have been made by indian federal government for integrated bamboo development through convergence of schemes of various departments and organizations involving expert agencies and institutions and state governments and ngos something is uh, something about the policy initiatives the new institution the national bamboo mission was launched as a centrally sponsored scheme in 2006 at federal level under ministry of agriculture and farmers welfare the mission envisages promoting holistic growth of bamboo sector by adopting area based regionally differentiated strategy and to increase the area under bamboo cultivation and marketing at this uh, federal government is implementing the bamboo scheme through the state uh, the state level bamboo mission bamboo missions under various department line departments like agriculture horticulture um, um, forest commerce and industries and other concerned organizations are being involved Uh, there is a need of convergence of uh, bamboo schemes of all ministries departments to one platform but for better coordination and institutionalized institutionalized integrated system uh, for a smooth transport of bamboo pan india uh, pan india indian forest act has been amended some uh, these are the for the ease of business especially for bamboo uh, bamboos from private uh, farmlands also provisions for incentives and subsidies have been created for the farmers and entrepreneurs uh, to prioritize bamboo sector bamboo development authority at all functional levels like district state national uh, national uh, federal level has been proposed bamboo has been identified as change agent for development new opportunities are being explored for the bamboo based uh, livelihoods and entrepreneurship especially for post covid crisis mitigation bamboo uh, the new guidelines of national bamboo mission government of india recognized bamboo as a potential change agent for better country uh, some of the livelihoods generating bamboo bay businesses are as follows the bamboo leaves as fodder uh, donkeys are uh, the bamboo food for donkeys uh, used in ethiopia bamboo feed for chicken process uh, processing uh, based uh, livelihoods the bamboo planks market based livelihoods the panel production by rural communities a complete school equipped bamboo desk in uh, gujarat bamboo packaging bamboo matches sticks made in india cutlery and aircraft bamboo pencils handicraft baskets quality and scale volume uh, renewable and energy rural livelihoods degraded and wasteland uh, based uh, livelihoods carbon capture and storage based livelihoods as biomass energy uh, many communities are highly skilled in bamboo works and many organizations are using them for high end bamboo products uh, just a snapshot these are the sustainable de design inclusive and sustainable development sustainability design Uh, okay, a good case study from tripura community based uh, 
livelihood, uh, high end entrepreneurship, eco friendly material, industrially processed bamboo, industrial handicraft bamboo products, their gap remains, high end, traditional applications of bamboo, the sustainability design in Gandhi Nagar uh, showroom. Ah, this is uh, uh, worth mentioning. The backup primitive tribe uh, groups are highly skilled and making high products, lamp shades here for resorts even exporting. So we can have community based high end bamboo products. Bamboo into Bollywood. The Bollywood is also attracted towards bamboo products. He is a bamboo uh, film producer from uh, Mumbai. Uh, the private entrepreneurs are promoting huge range of uh, products in market. Just a snapshot. Uh, this is uh, Kerala Bamboo State Corporation. Uh, uh, incense sticks. Bamboo bottles, water bottles, the recent introduction. Uh, this entrepreneur is using bamboo 100% from blinds to power generation through waste, zero waste industry. Uh, new uh, innovative products and structures are coming to market. The bamboo masks and shields. Bamboo fabric garments uh, in an innovative design by National Institute of Design, the tree guard come fencing unit, bamboo toll plaza along National Highway, bamboo uh, bus stop, bamboo toilets, and this is a double floor police barrack in Delhi. This has got a, a, a structural engineering excellence award, bamboo biochar, bamboo straw, bamboo band and some bamboo uh, mega structure. A few milestones. Uh, the, the serious bamboo journey in India started with the vision of the then Prime Minister Atal Bihari Bajpayee in 2004. He set a roadmap for bamboo development in India. Uh, India initiated a discussion on bamboo in United Nations Forum uh, Forestry Forum in 2015. Uh, Inbar was there. Uh, some learning from Vietnam. Yeah, this needs a mention. A historical event in bamboo. Ministers and officials of eight ministries interacted in uh, for the future of bamboo in India. So I'd like to share the recommendations mainly. I'll uh, read them out. Inclusion of Bamboo Development Task Force in Niti Aayog. Uh, Niti Aayog. This is National Institute of Transforming India. They um, uh, constitute a committee to prepare a white paper based on the review of efforts made in sector so far by all concerned ministries. Create National Bamboo Development Authority for convergence of and synergy among all departments, organizations dealing with bamboo. Formulate a national formulate a uh, national bamboo development policy, organize World Bamboo Summit in Delhi to strengthen in, uh, international cooperation in bamboo sector. Bamboo investors meet. Uh, Global Bamboo Summit in uh, Madhya Pradesh. Uh, Madhya Pradesh Bamboo Mission has done some pioneer works in the country. Uh, like uh, business document vision document, bamboo policy, bamboo development strategy. What I wanted to bring home here, here is may, many initiatives have been taken by MP and some other states. Yeah. Uh, all the essential components of bamboo based development exist in MP and other, other states. Things are moving slowly. Some intensive efforts are needed to achieve the goal. You can see the left column. The extensive bamboo resource is there. The skilled human resource is there. The strong technical support is there. Huge niche market is there. Everything there is there. So the, and some actions uh, have been initiated and 
I think this can lead to bamboo based sustainable development in the state and the country. Uh, there is a political will for uh, for bamboo as well. Uh, Chief Minister of Madhya Pradesh is uh, wants his office and home uh, furnishing with exclusive bamboo. The bamboo setum. The, these are the initiatives of the state bamboo mission, bamboo tunnel, bamboo uh, tunnel, uh, the farmers bamboo scheme, promoting bamboo through farmers, uh, the bamboo and art craft school. Um, uh, inclusion of bamboo technology courses in the curricula at the school level, uh, certification, online marketing of bamboo products through eBay, Flipkart, bamboo based ecotourism destination, uh, public people private partnership, capacity building of artists and entrepreneurs, bamboo housing, bamboo based women entrepreneurship, bamboo toilets in rural and urban areas. Yeah. These are the, some of the issues at the global perspective. Uh, the major issues include uh, the lack of global cooperation. Bamboo is still stuck somewhere between forestry, horticulture, and agriculture. Trade balance imbalance, supply demand gap is very high, almost 60-50%. Lack of institutional linkages, transfer of technology, lack of research de and development. These are some of the uh, issues which need to be addressed. Uh, a global cooperation is needed for farm uh, for uh, bamboo based development. Inbar has already made a headway. Uh, uh, United Nations Forum on Bamboo and SAR countries uh, Bamboo Forum can be starting platforms for bamboo, uh, global cooperation on bamboo. Policy uh, uh, issues hindering growth of bamboo sector in India. Uh, uh, just a snapshot policy convergence. Productive, uh, productivity, advanced technology, skilled manpower are few key areas, key issues to be addressed for better future of bamboo in India. But at present, uh, bamboo is spread over eight central ministries. Uh, various ministries have different bamboo related schemes. Bamboo fits into all federal flagship programs of different ministries. A proper, a proper convergence will lead to a win-win situation. You can see these are the flagship programs like Make in India, Clean India, Housing Mission, Green India Mission, Inclusive Growth. And um, uh, efforts are being made to integrate bamboo in various developmental programs for, for overall economic growth. Bamboo is the most appropriate commodity for all these programs. Many entrepreneurs are adopting bamboo uh, and, uh, under Make in India. More and more entrepreneurs should be encouraged and promoted through institutionalized business model. Uh, National Institute of Transforming India is the think tank of federal government. This is uh, one of the action points, Bamboo Development Task Force. Inclusion of the Bamboo Development Task Force uh, Niti Aayog has been initiated. The subgroup in Niti Aayog will be responsible for development of national integrated bamboo development policy for uh, providing directions for future development of the sector. Policy may intervene in bringing out falling changes in the existing regime. So creation of national bamboo development authority for convergence and synergy among all federal and state uh, schemes related to bamboo. Recognizing bamboo as plantation and horticulture crop. Plan for establishing bamboo innovation incubation center for facilitating research and extension activities and startups business. Scheme for establishing bamboo with special economic zones in appropriate locations, provision for tax exemptions for bamboo special economic zones. Bamboo is a, as an alternative to wood is gaining popularity. The builder, the housing um, builders are ready for bamboo housing, uh, waiting for the raw materials. Many private entrepreneurs have entered into bamboo wood uh, production uh, industry. Uh, maximizing use of bamboo in all government works has been principally accepted and initiated. Private players like resorts in forest areas are also preferring bamboo. Efforts are being made at community level for indigenous bamboo sticks. Uh, increased quality productivity is one of the key priority areas of National Bamboo Mission. 100% uh, with zero waste, exploring innovative usage of bamboo, especially in rural areas. Uh, bamboo technology courses have been included in the curricula of the technical education to catch them young for bamboo. Uh, I'll take just one minute, one minute to uh, to capture all these action points. Rather, repeat some of the action actions which we have, uh, which we, which have been identified through various consultation at the regional level, federal level, and international level. Uh, consider bamboo as 
as icon of sustainability and perfect and ideal entity for blue economy in planning process. Convergence bamboo, bamboo being under multiple ministries, need to establish an umbrella organization, National Bamboo Development Authority. Declare bamboo as a national plant and plantation crop. National bamboo development policy. Uniform policy for tax exemption and subsidies on bamboo, bamboo products and bamboo machinery, considering bamboo as green material. Adopt bamboo as the key species for the sustainable development solutions dealing with climate change initiatives. Use bamboo as the key species for the Green India mission, bamboo outside forest to be promoted. Establish bamboo as the paradigm for the Make in India initiative. Construct bamboo toilets on large scale under Clean India mission. Use bamboo for the Clean Ganges River, you know that. A program for riverine management. Use bamboo as a breakthrough for the triple S phenomenon, skill, scale and speed. Use bamboo as the air purifier through urban oxygen parks and urban side plantation. I wonder if you know that Obama, when Obama, Obama came to India, uh, he was surrounded by 80, 80 air purifiers with him around in Delhi. Uh, use bamboo for the office utility items and furniture in government offices and schools as far as possible. Use bamboo for government infrastructure like government low cost housing schemes. Uh, include bamboo as building material in SOS. As SORs and tendering include BAM, uh, include, uh, include a, it, it has already been included in Madhya Pradesh. Organize World Bamboo Summit in Delhi every two years to strengthen international bamboo trade. Strengthen existing bamboo applications technology centers and start dedicated bamboo research technology and, and uh, institute and research institute. Develop a model. We have initiated to develop a model uh, bamboo state with an in intensive inputs and support. That's all from my side. In, uh, it's a dream, India as, a, as the global bamboo based sustainable development model. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Bhattacharya, for your very informative and truth presentation. Especially lastly, the 18 suggested actions, I hope that they will be feasible and can be materialized. Actually, India's bamboo development path is very exemplary for other developing countries. Your recognition of bamboo as a special resources, your innovation in policies and businesses, and the great efforts in researchers and product development, the integration of bamboo with Sustainable Development Goals SDG, as well as your suggest to convergence of the efforts in different ministries providing preferential policy environmental environment for bamboo business to grow. These are all the key issues which India is presently trying to push forward in its member countries. Modeling laws of India has been and will in the long term be essential for Imba to push forward the world bamboo sector development. Thank you again, Dr. Bachayana. So our last speaker is Dr. Pan Van Tan, the director of the Non-Timber Forest Products Research Institute of Vietnam a national research institution focused on non-timber forest products, conservation and sustainable development issues. He has been working as a senior researcher at the non-timber forest products research center in from 1996 up till now, so it's already 24 years. Dr. Pan Van Tan received his PhD in non-timber forestry product, uh, non-timber forest products silviculture from Vietnamese Academy of Sciences of Forest Sciences and a master's degree in non-timber forest products silviculture from Vietnam National University of Forestry, Hanoi in Vietnam. So Mr. Pan Tan, you have the floor, please. Hello, everybody. Good evening. Can you, can, you hear me? can you hear me? Okay. Yes, we can, yes, we, but please, uh, please uh, formalize uh, your PPT. Good okay. evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Van Van Tang, director of the Vietnamese Research Center for non timber Forest Aurora. My center was founded in 1978, the National and in charge of non timber Forest Research. 
Dear lady and gentlemen, as you know, Vietnam is a country in the Southeast Asia which climate is not an hemisphere tropical mansion. Total area about 33 million hectares to the third million area covered by him and mountain. Total population is near 96.5 million people and GDP about 262 billion US dollar in 2019. Total forest area about 14.6 million hectares with near 10.3 million hectares is natural forest and near 4.3 billion hectares is plantation. Total forest product export value about 11.2 billion US dollar 2000. 19. And for bamboo resource. Vietnam is a abundant bamboo species with over 30 channels and 260 species of bamboo of which the economic bamboo account for over 10 species. There are Three the most important species that the Karabu Patu, Bamboo, Sa, Longis, Sima, and the next species of the Philotasis, Upesen, the Semoso Bamboo species in China. About Bamboo Areo, this diagram shows that the total area of Bamboo since 1995 to now have been stable from 1.4 to 1.5 million hectares in general. In which your natural forest are more than 245,000 hectares. Bamboo mist timber natural forest are more than 1.1 million hectares. And bamboo plantation are more than 120,000 hectares. About bamboo distribution. There are 37 province have bamboo concentration, uh, well, but only 23 province have more than 10,000 hectares of bamboo fresh eggs. About bamboo volume, this diagram shows that total estimated bamboo volume in 2019 is uh, about 6.5 million cups, and some annual everything year. Yeah, is over 5 million ton material for processing industry in Vietnam. As for bamboo value, bamboo is the important role for Vietnamese people and Vietnamese rural villages. About bamboo product and processing. If you look at it, you see that there are very diversity with a lot of bamboo products, including bamboo raw material, bamboo mushroom, bamboo plate and plate material, bamboo artist wood, bamboo flooring, bamboo polyd wood, bamboo paper, bamboo article, bamboo furniture, bamboo charcoal, etc. Now, bamboo product markets, the diagram shows these are five big export bamboo products. Uh, Bucky's wood, raw material, furniture, seed, suit, bamboo. Bucky's wood is a leading product following by raw material, furniture. About bamboo importer markets. For big gift importer, uh, the European Union, Japan, United States, America, India, they import 
to about more than 10 percent of the total import volume. The import about 17 percent of the total import bamboo product very from Vietnam. In European Germany, France are the largest importer of European Union. Japan, United States, American potential markets. However, the usually by bamboo product must be bought for a sustainable certification and good quality standard. India, China are also an important set partner with Vietnam. They are also easy customer, but India the easy client they usually purchase the raw material with cheap low price do not care much about quality about bamboo value even a bamboo link closely with livelihood community living in our product it is like an important product for 5 million motor household with over 75 percent of bamboo forest owned by farmer and community. As for contribute of bamboo to the foundation of economy and sub society, bamboo is being an important income source for the household economy who filling gap of daily needs contribute to employment creation contribute to income livelihood of household with more than 30 percent total income and hunger elimination and poverty reduction for the bamboo is a supply material to processing industry and craft production and export contribute to national total export value annual consumption for to five million bamboo ton for various purpose. Export value about 200, 350 million US dollar per year and contribute in green forest, biodiversity conservation, climate change, adaptation, and appropriate rural land use. The bamboo potential. We mentioned three issues, policy, technique, and advantage. As policy, Vietnamese government have published a lot of policy to encourage the development of bamboo sector. They are decision 11, 2011, decision 18, 2007, decision number 86, 2017 by Prime Minister. This is the number 1565-2013. This is the number 2366-2006 by Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development. For more policy focus on the short test, about this bamboo product tax is a discount from the 10 to 0 percent exemption or reduction tax and land rental fee or liver for forest plantation activity. New bamboo forest plantation event investment supports specific product subsidy for bamboo nation forest government preferred credit and the craft value energy and trade promotion. Promote international cooperation in both in bamboo development. As for bamboo cultivation management, any stated important reason have been achieved a new technique applied for bamboo cultivation and sustainable management, but some reason of bamboo forest sustainable development still not have been achieved. There are wide distribution and good adaptability limitation of concentration around difficult in planning and of medium or high style bamboo plantation area, different to be in bamboo area, like a sustainable planning for cultivation. 
Elimination of the applicated silicone solution, step a bamboo standard and monitoring system over capacity degradation a bamboo frame, low jump and value bamboo plantation in domestic markets, standard and small scale bamboo correction and seeding system. Processing techniques that bamboo processing unit have some feature. Small scattered processing unit do not need to be shot real. By cutting the and equipment so low product quality. Handicraft unit are last its number, but the still more. more a uh, small business cannot afford to invest uh, in new technology and expand the production. Bamboo Enterprise Expectory Handicraft Village are not familiar with international practice, FSC, SCI, ISO, ETC. This is a Bamboo Handicraft Village Production, GT Bamboo Processing Enterprise. Our bamboo development advantage last in the raw material. Low labor and raw bamboo cost. There has been pilot model on connecting farmer and company production in processing. Opportunity in the demand of eco friendly and good substitute product availability. Knowledge and technology of foreign investor, increasing aware of individual and government on potential of bamboo and ratas. About bamboo development challenges besides shell opportunity, the bamboo production sector have a lot of challenges. The weak need lack of development strategy for sector. Weak size and technology capacity of division, weak capacity of processor, lack of relay and spot energy, machinery, chemical, raw and human EDC, weak infrastructure, three intensive competition at international domestic markets, competition of other crop. Increasing requirement to export product economy size of environment. Bamboo development rate of bamboo resort in Vietnam 2020. Increasing the demand for bamboo continue to rise. Bamboo is not only the sustainable consumption chain of the one but also environmentally friendly concern of the responsible nature for product consumption so that estimate future demand. Annual consumption from the 200 to 500 million come for various about to face annual growth rate up from 10 to 15 percent. Raw material demand by 2020 is the estimate at least one million per year. From estimate future demand and development potential, the Vietnamese government gave a six important objectives of bamboo development direction to 2020. First, to develop bamboo research as part of the one for development system to, to correct the net to forest one and promote new plantation of economic species by 2020. Protect 1.36 million of nature bamboo forest, conduct afforestation and reforestation to reach 115,000 hectares of bamboo plantation. 
to the your bamboo in regard to the biodiversity conservation. Really, to develop bamboo in regard to the development in biotechnology and forestry production processing. Or to ensure farmer benefit that is from 20 to 30 percent of bamboo share in mountain household income to raise community awareness of sustainable development of bamboo and then to improve the state management about proposal promote to bamboo forest sustainable management to have an international forest sustainable management certification and hand to bamboo processing development to bamboo sector marketing development and international competition. Many thanks for your attention. I would be glad to answer any question you might have. So thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Pan and Tan, for the introduction and the insights on the challenges and opportunity of bamboo development in Vietnam. I, I think that the experiences of the three countries, China, India, and Vietnam, are amazingly agreeable in the, some key factors, such as recognizing bamboo as a strategic resource, especially for sustainable development in remote areas in remote rural areas to solve major issues such as poverty, supporting economy and ecological conservations, conducting researches on bamboo and innovative new technologies, and improve entrepreneurship in local levels. So thank you very much again, Mr. Pan Phan Tan, for putting out, pointing out the necessity of international cooperations in a highly globalized world. Strengthening exchanges and cooperation is especially necessary for the sustainability of bamboo structures in all countries. And all, well, this is also the impasse major role in the international society. Yeah, yeah. So ladies and gentlemen, now it's uh, time for questions and answers. So I would like to invite my colleague Dr. Fuji Fu to chair the following discussions. So Dr. Fu, you have a Okay, um, uh, first I, like, I would like to thank uh, our three speakers, excellent presentations, and uh, there are many questions from our audience. So first, uh, I raise two questions to uh, Professor Fei's presentation, and uh, Mr. John will help him to answer the question. So the first question to Dr. John, uh, what is the main uses for the flattened bamboo board? And the second question is, uh, 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 when other country develop the bamboo industry, they may need the uh, international cooperation. So what are your what are your recommendations to other countries to develop the bamboo industry? Yeah, Dr. John, please. Hello. So, uh, maybe some of the first question is about the flattened bamboo. Yeah, the flattened bamboo is a new type of uh, bamboo engineering material. The utilization efficiency of the flattened bamboo is increased very significantly. Now, uh, the flattening bamboo is used in um, a flooring board, uh, chopping block, and uh, furniture. In this, uh, the second question is about the uh, development of the bamboo industry. 
Uh, my suggestion is uh, that first, uh, to improve the industry, you have to choose the suitable species of bamboo for the specific uh, industry manufacturing. Second, uh, you, you, you need to improve and manage your bamboo resource. Of uh, course, the big industry uh, would consume uh, your bamboo re resource very quickly. And the third is to improve the bamboo technology and uh, e equipment. Uh, uh, I personally uh, suggest that uh, you could you could uh, import some uh, technologies and uh, equipment from China. Uh, the last one uh, is also very important that. Uh, you should uh, cooperate with your local government and uh, get some policy uh, support and uh, benefit. Yeah, that's all. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Dr. Zhang. And uh, then uh, I have to uh, 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 forward the question from the audience to Dr. Ajoy uh, about the Indian bamboo development. So the, audience, the question is, uh, India have a rich bamboo resource and also a huge population and also made uh, several efforts. But still, India has not reached large international market of bamboo products. So what are the uh, bottlenecks and uh, what uh, for the bamboo, for Indian bamboo development? And uh, what they uh, need to do to commercialize the bamboo? Or oh, yeah, Dr. Ajoy. No voice. Please unmute. Please unmute, doctor. Doctor, please unmute. Yeah, yeah. I got I did, I did it. I unmuted. Now you can hear me? Yeah. yeah okay, thank you very much. So uh, uh, I have already addressed these issues in my presentation. I really wonder, actually, we have everything. We have the resource, as I mentioned, natural resource, huge natural resource, the bamboo. Then we have artisans, uh, uh, the entrepreneurs in place, and uh, even we had uh, organized, you know, ranking of the artisans. In Madhya Pradesh, we had done a competition of the bamboo artisans at different labels, and who, we made a, a list of the best bamboo artisans. Uh, in, a, in Madhya Pradesh and it and we, uh, we sent some of them to even China. So we have natural resource, the bamboo, we have the uh, human resource, the artisans and uh, the entrepreneurs and we have technology. We Madhya Pradesh, we have around 13 uh, common facility centers with equipments, everything and we have market. Market means uh, government, uh, we have uh, these uh, resorts, we have the uh, hotels, uh, we have uh, government uh, schools who, where the bamboo furniture, bamboo uh, wood, all them, all of them can be used and there is a demand. So all of them. I think uh, we need to, uh, the all of these things, all these things have to be connected. And the, for connection, the, the government has to take a lead. So the government, government has to facilitate, government has to create a platform where these things can be connected uh, properly and appropriately. So we need to, as I mentioned, we need to have a proper bamboo policy. Uh, I, re I will repeat, we bamboo is a spread over on uh, eight ministries. So everybody, everybody is doing some or the other uh, bamboo, uh, bamboo activities. So bamboo is spread over eight ministries. So there has to be one bamboo uh, national uh, exclusive national bamboo policy and one institution one institution which can we can which can, which can overlook the whole bamboo development in the country right right now the bamboo uh, activities i have been taken over are, are being implemented through state bamboo missions only like i had initiated one uh, china improvised china model through inba for madhya pradesh so i wanted to have a pilot project that so i i left that so the uh, government has to take a lead in the, and rest of the things are in place. Rest of the things are in place. I think somebody has to push and the government as a main. And you know, it's, it's happening actually. I, I'll say it's happening. The positive thing is happening, but it's happening very slowly. And now even the market forces are jumping in. The private players are jumping in. 
So a lot of private players are uh, coming in. So I think uh, it should uh, take off and uh, we, we can even um, at the international level, uh, we, can, we can make a breakthrough. Yeah, thank you, Dr. Joy. And uh, uh, another question uh, from Ms. from Ethiopia. And uh, his question, how much is GDP contribution of bamboo in India? in comparison to timber. Uh, I, I couldn't get it. Can you repeat it? Uh, how much is the GDP contribution of Indian bamboo in comparison to timber? Uh, very little, very little. It's a 4%. Um, 4%. Uh, bamboo, bamboo share, market share. You, you are talking of uh, GDP, national GDP. Yeah, yeah. Bamboo's contribution to global bamboo market is around 4% and GDP is very, 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 very insignificant. Very in insignificant, less than 2%. Okay. So thank you, Dr. Ajoy, for the moment. Yeah, thank you. So Dr. Tan, uh, this is a question for you. And uh, so Dr. Tan. And so what are the main export bamboo products from Vietnam? Can you repeat for me? What are the main export bamboo products from Vietnam to USA, to Europe, to other countries? Yes, uh, almost uh, handicraft um, is uh, made by bamboo from Vietnam to export to European and, uh, example, uh, Germany and France. And uh, so one product from bamboo we uh, export to uh, United States American uh, on most um, bamboo platform. So, okay, thank you. And the second question, what are the main challenges in value chains to meet the requirement of export market? The main challenge in value chain uh, the main concern in the supply to chain yeah, yeah. spot uh, market standard, the quality yeah. bamboo yeah. material is uh, not uniform. Uh, most uh, of the raw material are harvested uh, from the nature. Raw material have not meet the standard of the sustainability, outdated technology and posting in that one. Okay. okay. Yeah, thank you. And um, so uh, I get, uh, we got many questions to Dr. Face presentation. And uh, yeah, uh, one question is uh, in China, uh, the, uh, there are 6.41 million hectare bamboo, and uh, how much are monopodia and how much are sympodia? And uh, uh, how many bamboo uh, uh, are under sustainable management? Because I have the answer, so I answer directly. And uh, so as I know, uh, there are about 80% of Chinese bamboo are monopodia and 20% are sympodia bamboo. So it's about 30% of bamboo under sustainable management. And uh, then another question from uh, from Dr. Fei. Um, yeah, uh, the, uh, what is the, what are the advantages of Chinese bamboo industry in high tech products? Uh, uh, as you have heard from the presentation, uh, uh, modern Chinese bamboo industry uh, started from 1980s. We have more than 40 years experience mm -hmm. for bamboo uh, industry. And uh, so 
they are uh, every year they are innovation and uh, then we can produce high tech bamboo products like a fireproof ceiling and the uh, outdoor floor for example for outdoor floor it can last uh, more than 25 years it's even better than water floor and also bamboo for textile and uh, this is a huge market yeah and uh, then is another uh, another question from from my colleague in Ethiopia, Wundi, and ask the uh, is bamboo industry the priority of Chinese government? I uh, say yes, and also he asked is there any synergies among bamboo industry association, science and technology innovation? Yes, it's true. And then uh, another uh, from Avril, I think it's from uh, Latin America. So his question is, uh, Chinese bamboo products uh, occupied uh, in the international market. So is there any opportunities for the country with a small uh, products production of bamboo? And, and uh, I say, uh, uh, yes, and uh, uh, you know, in China, the uh, labor cost uh, increased year by year. So, so for for this uh, intensive labor industry, and uh, China is losing uh, the uh, advantage. So it, it, it's difficult to compete with with the other country, maybe like a. Uh, like uh, our labouring country in Asia and Africa, maybe some also uh, Latin America countries. So, uh, for example, if you produce uh, this incense stick, uh, tea stick, and uh, maybe also charcoal, and uh, for example, in Africa, uh, uh, biomass energy is the dominant uh, household energy, and uh, bamboo charcoal maybe have a good mark has good market, especially uh, it proven uh, this uh, practice in Ethiopia through so Imba projects, Ethiopia, Uganda, Tanzania, Madagascar, and Ghana, and, uh, and uh, maybe come along soon, yeah. So, and uh, then, uh, uh, Dr. Khan, uh, there's another question for you. So, uh, Dr. Tan, and bamboo being a new emergency sector in many countries. How old Vietnam uh, ensure credit and finance availability for private enterprises, uh, including MSEs? So, is there any government guidelines? Uh, to, uh, to supporting uh, uh, bamboo uh, development. So is there any uh, government financial support for the private sector uh, for develop the bamboo industry in Vietnam? May I repeat your question in Vietnamese? Yeah. Please, long. Thank you. Doctor Thang, câu hỏi là ngành tre là ngành mới nổi lên ở một số nước. Làm thế nào Việt Nam để đảm bảo cái vốn cho các cái doanh nghiệp, vốn cũng như tài chính cho các cái doanh nghiệp, công ty tư nhân, bao gồm cả những công ty vừa và nhỏ, chính chủ có hỗ trợ hay là có những cái hướng dẫn gì để đảm bảo phụ cấp tài chính cho họ thực hiện hay không? Nha. Yeah. In the gap in the bamboo industry of Vietnam, and the almost the bamboo processing company is a small scale, uh, but the, um, the government uh, early um, have no policy for ensure capital and finance for um, bamboo processing enterprise. But uh, almost um, them, they do 
bay đây là là loan from loan bay chứ là bạn loan loan from the bank from the government loan to bank yeah yeah uh, but i think that it's there are some maybe some indirect support in the your presentation to say that the tax from bamboo sector is there from 10% to zero and yep. then furthermore the land is also for free that is already a kind of support for the enterprise or something for development and of course there are also uh, low interest loan from the bank that the company can borrow it from the bank as well thank you uh, okay thank you dr uh, tan dr ajoy yeah yeah, it's a, it's a question for myself, yeah. <laughs> so before, uh, before uh, I, I, um, I know many Chinese bamboo uh, company owners, and uh, they have interest to invest in, in India, yeah. So, so, so I think maybe uh, to, to how to say to reduce the challenge uh, by Indian bamboo uh, development, so I think we may in encourage uh, the Chinese and the Indian uh, bamboo companies to cooperation and or or investors to cooperate for to promote bamboo development in India, because in China uh, we have more than forty years experience in bamboo technology, machines, and even these uh, companies have international market. Yeah, so for example, uh, for Chinese customs, uh, annually China export about uh, 20, uh, 20 uh, me, uh, no, no, uh, 2 billion US dollar uh, to international market, first to Europe, USA, Japan, Australia, and other countries. So. So I, I may suggest that uh, you can invite the Chinese investor or companies to cooperate with the Indian uh, government and the companies to develop the Indian bamboo sector. So uh, what's your comments or suggestions to my, <laughs> to my idea? Uh, Please open your microphone, Dr. Ajoy. I think some, there's something wrong with internet for Dr. Ajoy. I think maybe uh, he didn't hear the question on oh, his microphone is still me. Yeah, please open your microphone, Dr. Ajoy. Uh, did you uh, get my question or my comments? Dr. Ajoy, and uh, I said uh, uh, to promote uh, Indian bamboo sector development, and we may encourage Chinese bamboo uh, uh, companies or investors to India, and uh, uh, Chinese uh, companies can bring technology and the uh, management and the even international market uh, to Indian bamboo sector. So if in this case, uh, what's your suggestions or comments for my idea? Dr. Fu, it looks like his picture is frozen. His internet doesn't work at the moment. Everything from his is look like it's frozen. So maybe you can shift your question to Anna uh, first. So Moni, 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 maybe you have, you can you also Moni, can you give your uh, suggestion for my idea? Moni. Yeah. Yeah, please. What is that? Oh, you didn't get my question, yeah. No, no, so, I got a question. Uh, yeah, you said uh, uh, India can invite investors from uh, many countries, including China, 
Yeah. For technology development, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, it is. Uh, can be done. Uh, the, the, there have been a lot of. Uh, There are there are many foreign investors. Can you hear me? Yeah, please. Yeah, it, it is possible. Yeah, it is a good suggestion because uh, technology transfer is uh, the most important thing for a country like uh, India to develop the bamboo sector. Yeah, and uh, and uh, I last question. And before India is a leading country for bamboo pumping and paper making, what's the current situation in India for bamboo pumping and paper making? Paper industry is a very old uh, bamboo in my industry. Ajoy, you're there. Yeah, I can answer. No. Yeah. Yeah, paper, in, paper industry has been there for a very long time in India. Making paper out of bamboo, but uh, there are uh, a few paper industry which depended on bamboo, which is uh, some because of some uh, loss and everything. Some companies are closed. Those which are exclusively working in the on the, the manufacturing of paper. But there are new industry coming up, especially during the last uh, four or five years. It is already there. They are working it. Okay. 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 So, uh, so uh, my my question to Doctor Tan. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, 2004, uh, I was invited by SMV to a bamboo workshop in Langsung. You know, Langsung is near yeah. China. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. we went to Langsung, Huaping, and Halambe, and uh, Hailoi. And uh, we found the, the Dendro Kalamos uh, Barbitos in Huaping province, it's in a large area. And uh, there was a uh, joint company between Vietnam and the uh, Chinese from Guangdong province. And they produce laminate bamboo furniture, floor. So is this company still in operation in Huaping? Yeah. In Tainhua. Uh, Tainhua, yeah. Huaping. Yeah. Yeah. Um, can, can you actually learn a bit more about uh, how the company now? That the company is still in Huabing, yes, but uh, how scale its operation? Is any is, uh, uh, operation scale is it bigger than before or the same? It's, it's, uh, it's, uh, I think it's the middle, middle size, yeah. Yeah, I, I can answer it if one with the company is still there. And actually, the last October, the company there was one representative from company was also visited in Bar here last year. And the company is to produce product more and mainly export to Canada and Europe as well. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I can answer so question. I can. I can answer the question. Yeah, yeah. please. Okay. Um, you asked uh, the the uh, BWG company in Huabing. Yeah. Yes. In, in um, 2016, you know uh, the BWG uh, have a uh, medium scale in Vietnam, but uh, in uh, um, now. The BWG company um, expand. Uh, they almost to um, product uh, laminates to export to um, United States. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Okay.
And um, we are meet up to the in, uh, company in Vietnam now the big kids um, of bamboo process, processing in Vietnam. And uh, a lot of a lot of uh, yeah, a lot of question or message uh, before I, I, I allow their companies to produce bamboo panel export yeah. to USA for housing. For example, yeah. I know and I, I have a friend from Seattle, USA. His son uh, married with a Vietnamese girl and uh, opened a uh, bamboo uh, housing company in Vietnam in and exported the bamboo panel to USA. So still uh, this, uh, this factory or this building is still in operation? Yes. Uh, and now the company, now the company uh, still operation in uh, they produce not laminate, they produce um, panel to export to um, uh, United States America. Um, uh, uh, last month the, they have a sign with an United States American company on the contract, big contract. Uh, okay, thank you, Dr. Tan. And uh, now I have one question to Dr. Zhang. Dr. Zhang Zhong. Uh, yeah, uh, as we know, uh, you have got cooperation with Ethiopia through safety bamboo housing project and uh, and also you joined the Dutch Sino East Africa phase one. And uh, so uh, you may have some suggestion to Ethiopia friends how to cooperate with China or how to develop the bamboo industry in Ethiopia. So Dr. John, please give your suggestion. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, thank you. Uh, as I know, that uh, in, in Africa, uh, Ethiopia has the largest uh, bamboo resources. Uh, but uh, I have been to Ethiopia uh, three times, but uh, I have been to the bamboo forest. But uh, uh, in Ethiopia, I found that uh, some of the bamboo forests uh, are uh, not very good man under management. So, um, um, my suggestion is to, to, to learn from China about the, the bamboo, bamboo management and uh, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, maybe uh, cooperate with some uh, Chinese private companies uh, to to get some um, to import some industry from China to Ethiopia. Yeah, that's all. Okay, thank you, Dr. Zhang. So now the time is uh, near to the end of our schedule, and uh, so I like to thank uh, our three speakers, and uh, I thank you, Professor Fei, Dr. Joy, and Dr. Tan, and also Dr. Zhang again, and also thank you, Professor Lu, to moderate this session, and. Uh, Next Tuesday, 18th of August, the same time and uh, uh, evening, and uh, we have a large session, bamboo standardization and uh, innovation. So you are welcome to join and uh, stay tuned and bye-bye. Uh,